What is up, with kids? Welcome to part five of the Amazing Earth of Spider-Man PS4. Anyway, this is gonna be me. Yeah, hey guys, still can't find it. The uh, new phone still does, or my phone still broke, so I found my old phone. Surprisingly, it works. All right, guys. So let's. What are we doing here? Oh yeah, we're going to the Any news about Mr. Lee, Pete? You hear anything? You tell us. I'll try to find out. Hopefully the volume is working for this episode. Pete, your aunt works too hard. Tell her to take the day off. <laughs> Trust me, madam, you can try that. She will not. Well, Peter's me. single and I'm single. I mean, what's wrong with a May-December romance? What's wrong is that it's more like January December. <laughs> I know we haven't looked around here, but I've been in that office so many times after the game was actually done. I heard the deputy mayor was brainwashed. I know that Peter! Thank God, I was afraid you were seriously hurt. I got lucky. They said you the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. There's so many nice people. Oh, yep. Yeah. See? What I'm talking about. You can sweep. <laughs> for the bombing. You okay? Just a little banged up. How are you doing? Not bad. Your aunt's been helping me with my interview skills. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for the nine to five. I know I've had my share of career hurdles, but you never know until you try. Give it a shot. No strips. You snore like a water buffalo. Knew it. Boom. Three out of three. Spells clean. You didn't waste too much time. I don't know, like. You want me to call Mrs. Morales first? I'll be fine. I suspect she'll be relieved to talk to someone who's been there. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Um, Quietly. Don't feel safe. <laughs> Don't look. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. Oh, yeah. 
I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really oh. care about May. May. Hope May this means she's out of danger. About me. Stories claiming I'm a terrorist and a monster. Murderer, sorry. Those stories will be true. But the story we wrote together, the story of Feast, is also true. I want you to know that I'll that I always believed in our mission. It wasn't a front or a show. It was an honest expression of my heart. When you help someone, you truly help you do tr you truly do help everyone. Please don't let my Fail, failings shake your belief. Falling failings. You you are strong, May. Strong enough to tell a new story at feast. One under uh, unburdened by my faults. Thank you for all you've done, Martin. I can't fucking read. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Listen, Fisk has been arrested. I can barely believe it. The day I've planned for, dreamed of, is finally here. But for some reason, I hesitate. Lee sounds I conflicted. Really with this? Almost like he Think didn't want to head so down this path. If I, gave the, if I give the word, my men will clean Fisk's arms, his explosives, his secrets. We will use that strength to teach Norman true pain. He'll know what it is to see the things he loves destroyed by his own hand. But achieving that end will mean giving up so much. Everything I've built here at Feast, all the good I've done, could be wiped out of my plan to succeed. My chance is finally here, yet I still hesitate. Should I turn back? A part of me wants to, but the demon is hungry. I don't think I'm strong enough to hold it back anymore. I'm adding the end more because later in the game we realize that Martin's had the demon for a while. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Put up fronts. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Puzzle lock. That seems right. What are you hiding, Lee? Before we take a step, in the picture with Aunt May, the, the, you know, the yin and yang symbols, this door was technically unlocked.
He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon until he became one. He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Negative energy. Probably what his power is too. Even in all of us. Whoa. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Creepy. Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. The police had found this, or May. I want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Sneaky man, sneaky man. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Oh, shit. Hey, Mr. Mr. Lee. Martin. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. The bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? <laughs> I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. I can't tell if that was a threat or if it was like a... Just don't be here. Like a warning? Yeah, probably not the latter. <clears throat> uh -oh, I get effect. Yep. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that. 
but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding onto it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. My underarm webs. I thought they might help me glide short distances, but they never really worked. Looked cool, though. It looked cool, too. Uh, update. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. <laughs> See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for me? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Stop by, just for a minute. Appreciation on the Sable guys is all the reward I need. Or is that constipation? Alert the other outposts. Demons might try this again. This paper on neurotechnology. This got me the job with Dr. Octavius. Okay, kids. 
can't play nice. You lose your armor piercing force. Total fanatics. Can't believe how loyal they are to Martin Lee. Ha! <laughs> pigeon! Come on! He's a fast one! Nothing like putting my skills to good use. Howard, I think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. His dusty gray flex. Might have just left a stain on my suit. Claire, guy's a little devil, <laughs> but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards me. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. in the meatpacking district. 
Demons are firing on TCP Bravo. Need backup. Time for my special brand of conflict resolution. <laughs> You do tough stuff. Hopefully, the sound is actually better for you guys. I haven't really been watching the sound bar. <clears throat> Sound good for you guys? I guess we'll see. I'm coming, Doc. Let me in, let me in. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Hmm, what was Doc working on with this?
Doch. This is awesome. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Doc's messing around with superconductors. Very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? been nano latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. <laughs> Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility.
decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. Doc was testing the biocompatibility of graphene. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Hydrogel IPN. This looks promising. Bet it'd be a great tissue interface. Hmm, what was Doc working on with this?
great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. I could 3D print a web shooter. Can't believe I've never tried that. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. So we're not gonna get shut down? I like that one. The hexagon O dot. And the one that kind of looks like Green Lantern's ring there looks cool too. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Better? Ready? <clears throat> Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this. Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. There's a short here. Huh. No good. 
Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. I missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. You know, the micro cables we use to simulate musculature could easily be arranged into simple shapes. Wrenches, hammers, a toolbox literally at your fingertips. Don't know if I'm comfortable with some of these funding sources. All science is built on risk. Better to embrace it than run from it. Anything else? Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. That's right, he knows. <laughs> I almost forgot. Interesting method of structural reinforcement.
carbon fiber in the carbon fiber out air and aluminum containers. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. I showed up with stains on my shirt, Tim. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. What's that? What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ha! Ah, kidding, of course. No, you're not. I'm pretty sure that's part of Vulture's wing. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. on limb replacement, connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. True. But what if instead we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with and instead unleash the awesome power of our minds. this suit. <laughs> but I get growing up with punk rock music. Punk Spidey is my, kind of my cool, his favorite. Punk, Spidey, punk, Spidey. <laughs> something else but yeah we should talk over dinner oh it still stands for me to come over and cook oh really well i like to take risks i'm still out but i'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when i'm home okay talk soon all right dinner at mj's no expectations It'll be hard to screw this one up i guess i'll just freelance for a while until she calls like Jefferson Davis. But it's also a day to vow never again. It stops here. Some people say I blame everything on Spider-Man. Well, I don't blame him for the bombing. That cowardly act is squarely the responsibility of whoever committed it. But if we're gonna keep New York safe, we 
can no longer tolerate the kind of lawlessness Spider-Man and his ilk represent. This is our city. By God, we're going to take it back. Disarm the primary device. Bomb triggers wired in series. There, got the key. Got the key. Oh no, failsafe tripped. Timer's just engaged for the other bombs. Gotta move quick. of the shockers are hey MJ all right I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store can't wait to see what you come up with swinging over now prepare to be amazed My biggest fan, but I can't let the demons kill him. Those Sable guys don't like me, so imagine how much I don't like you. Guys, kinda gotta see something, do something code. Took a bullet from the cops back when they thought I was working with Electro. Good thing textbooks are thick. Too bad they're also expensive. Do we have an update on the situation in Clinton? Outpost is under siege by demons.
Daily Bugle. Always a great paper. Even more now that Jameson's retired. Vulture cracked my eye lens, it almost blinded me. That was a wake up call. Had to upgrade to a stronger material. Also, proves that Spidey's suit is a face shell. Magnetic lenses. I own Spidey suits. Sorry, right, you guys know this. down there. Bad one. People could be injured. I think that debris is trapping some safe. I should clear out so the professionals can get in. My prom boot in here. Crushed when I had to fight Fisk. That kind of symbolizes my luck with relationships. You're not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. Oh shit, another one. Well, of course everything needs updates on my phone too. And my backup phone. Stealth mission. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What 
is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? <clears throat> Bet it was happy. Tried any yet? Be careful. Only samples. Boss is still perfecting the recipe, but man, it's got a kick. Everything is ready. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Well, where is it? I swear I left it. Has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? What was that sound? Wait! Shit. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, I heard something. Hey, I heard something. Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? Damn, I'm being paranoid. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything. Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Still, feels paranoid. Who asked Those you? Those barrels seem important. important. Wait! Fuck! Shit. Pick up some more supplies. Not till we toss the empties. Boss wants them lost in a Jersey swamp. Those barrels like seem important. What's in these? No, thanks. Boss, come on! Thank you. We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. Uh, won't notice? Uh, Cause it won't be there. See if they break. Such a disappointment.
Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this office. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but <laughs> since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, it just needs some time to simmer. Ooh. No dumplings, I hope. <laughs> you're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. The Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but... but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I'm thinking... What if we teamed up? Like, you want to be my sidekick? Like, a spider girl? Spider woman. No. A woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Evacuate the building. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO! Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? <laughs> Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Yes. Uh... <laughs> where, where do you want me to, uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Okay, I'm tiger. Or not. That looks cool at night, too. I'll wait until you guys see Ghost... Ghost Spider. Or Spirit Spider. Ghost Spider. That suit looks fucking cool. What are you... Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse for City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? It sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Police look like they could use some help.
Thanks for the assist, Spider Man. Someone radio dispatch. We need a wagon. There's probably more of them inside. You guys stay here. Kick some ass and take some names. Yeah. <laughs> I almost thought I said that backwards for like a. No way, no, I didn't. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. Could have sworn I parked on this level. about parking enforcement. They know I'm here, but maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. I may find you. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here.
tall building. Fire bombs? Seriously? Ouch. Tall building. Fire bombs? Seriously? Move! Uh oh! There's Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right.
Let's try this again. Hello, it's safe now. <clears throat> what were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <gasps> Okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider cop. Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. And the chase is on. Buddy. Demons have a bomb rigged in one of those cars. We need to stop them. It isn't my favorite band of merry mass psychopaths. Here's your stuff. Bomb in the truck. Gotta disable. Just once I'd love for the guys pulling up to be pizza delivery instead of more demons. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? 
No, but if you ask nicely... Just got a call about a suspicious-looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project... Yeah, I know. Budget crisis. Yada, yada, yada. So... Uh, will you... please... check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real-life projects. Demons are getting full. Check the plating on the APC. We had it under control. You're welcome. Officers be advised. We have a report of a missing person. Witness reported location as the yards. Oh. Hmm. Looks military grade. Weird. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is, can you stop the bombs I've planted? Mystery man's got recon points spread all over the city. This computer's tracking bombs around the district, and they're about to go off. I gotta move. Gotta hurry and defuse those bombs. Okay, tear that one. One more. <laughs> Not gonna lie, feeling pretty good about myself right now. Nice work with the bombs, but you lean into your throat too much. Hurts the accuracy. Is this some kind of sick game to you? Guess your client wasted their money. Sometimes information's worth more than money, and I've learned plenty watching you. MJ, what did you find out about Isaac Delaney? 
Check out the picture I just sent. Which one is Delaney? I don't know. Guess you'll have to go to the party to find out. Good thing I already have a costume. Yeah. We have a kidnapping in progress. Please proceed to Madison. Mr. Call from Aunt May. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. Oh, the poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve, and he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made Ben proud. Can't let any of those bombs explode. One more. These bombs aren't going to defuse themselves. Okay, took care of that one. One more.
wish I'd done that well in school. Halloween party. Guess I don't have to change. Delaney's dressed as one of my greatest foes. Let's find out which one. My people. Now there's a guy who puts in the effort. Badass. Dr. Delaney is here somewhere. I have to find him before Lee does. Excuse me, are you Dr. Delaney? Ah, oh, Spider-Man, my nemesis. You won't catch me this time. <coughs> oh no, smoke. Whatever will I do? This is the end for you, Spider-Man. Which one is the real me? <laughs> no, I have you. Hey, what's wrong with you? I worked on that helmet for a week. I need to find Dr. Delaney. He's out in the party somewhere. Who are you? I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Smart ass. Looks okay, I guess. <sighs> it's got a crack in it. Probably just buff that out. Throwing down candy could be Dr. Delaney. Gotta find a way up there. I'm looking for Isaac Delaney. I think he's on the dance floor. There he is. The lizard in the lab coat. Hey, 
Hey, look, it's Spider Boy. Since I'm one of your nemesis, we gotta uh, fight. Maybe later. Oh, what's the matter, Spider Whip? You afraid of my mighty horn? Hey, hey, hey who? What, what are you? Come on. Hey, uh, fight. Uh, Take fight. his ass, Spider Man. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh, snap. what you want this is a joke right those aren't real guns back now let him go Everybody okay? Yeah. Good. Uh, happy Halloween. How about some mood lighting? And where'd they take Delaney? recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How, how, do you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. I ain't telling you shit. Me. Show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels.
That's all of them. We gotta find Lee. Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at ESU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michaels? I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city, but they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay, I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. Are you okay, ma'am? <laughs> Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? If that picture gets out, my life's over. Got it. Give me the plans and it won't. Very nice. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this. And I leak the photo. Plans. Sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. 
My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Gotcha! Took you long enough. Get it? Yeah. As soon as he saw the photo, fell in line. Trigger always was a sucker. Boss will be at it. Let's see the plans. That's what I was talking about. Gotta catch my train. How many people are in on this? I've got to follow him. Where's he getting off? Tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the father met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of high school movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. Into the line. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car.
I love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. <laughs> Thanks, Spider. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. What happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's all. This article blaming Spider-Man for electro-killing cops was the last straw. I had to quit taking pictures that helped Jameson print lies about me. MJ, hey. So like I was saying, Delaney didn't make it. Lee made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels. Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. I guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. Shots fired. Officers are on scene. Okay, Location is in the vicinity of Devil's Shelf. I got an interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700 pop- That's it. Everyone okay? Demons fight like men possessed. Stay safe out there, officer. There's more where these came from. Come on, guys. That's what I was saying. We're going to leave. 
part five here. So if you guys did enjoy part five, hit, make sure you guys hit, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not hit subscribe to the channel. Remember to subscribe. All that fun stuff is always up in the channel or up above. We're going to ask for part six. So I hope you guys are ready to go sneak around and ask for it. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe team. Webs whipping out. Also, classic suit looks awesome.